so excited about this. I'm so excited. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, and welcome back to another beautiful day here in the winter, winter, winter of Arizona. It is a perfect 65 degrees. Uh, we're in the middle of nowhere, as you can see, but I just wanted to show you guys that we got a new car for the channel. Uh, this car, I got it exactly for the channel. I'm not going to give you guys a whole bunch of information yet, but I just want you to see. Ready? It's a 1986 Chevy Corvette. Uh, I got this car for a thousand dollars. I got this because I want to make a, uh, I want to build a car for the channel. I want to make something 110% bought and built for the channel, and I want to go fast. I have a huge build list for this car, um, but I want to give you guys kind of the details on it so far. Uh, what a thousand dollars can buy you for? I think this is the most car you can get for a thousand dollars. So I bought this car for a thousand dollars. Has 150,000 miles. Has the target top. But the one thing wrong with the car is that someone took a bite out of the rear quarter panel and the rear bumper is a little bit crazy looking, but a little body work never hurt nobody. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to put it off. It might be done next week or it might take a little while. But anyways, the big thing that matters is I drove this car 200 miles away from my house. Driving this home 200 miles, besides being a really nervous drive, um, it was a very good ride actually. Um, the car handles great, the engine sounds great, uh, it drives great, it doesn't have any issues except for one. Here's how you open the Corvette hood. Get on this side. So there she is, the big 5.7 tune port injection V8. Um, I believe this engine is called the L98. Uh, makes about 300 pound-feet of torque, um, horsepower 0 to 60 times, uh, top speed. Everything is similar to that of a, a four-cylinder turbo Mustang or a Camaro, uh, one of those newer uh, pony sports cars. I think the 0 to 60 is like five and a half seconds or something like that. With a couple of light mods though, back in the 80s, they did not know what they were doing when they were designing these. At least they didn't have power as their main priority but we're going to do a couple mods on here and it's going to make it so uh the end goal for this car is around uh six or seven hundred horsepower i want to make it faster than the newest corvette future goals for this car are going to be uh porting out the i think they call it the plenum this thing right here make this thing a little bit uh better flowy is that even a word too bad uh, we're going to put a turbo on it um if not two and we're going to work on the fuel system, ignition system, tune everything up, make sure it's running its peak, and then I want to race a brand new Corvette. So uh, if you have a 2020 mid-engine Corvette or a 2021, um, hit me up in like a couple of months, and then we'll see who's faster. All right, so I turned the car around because I want to show you guys the interior. Uh, the interior, it's a target top. It's a glass target top. I have the target top back there. Um, the interior is in not bad shape at all. It does not have cardboard panels like the Miata does. So right here you can see the RPMs. Um, the really cool thing is actually right over here. You can see there on the top right, there's a little uh, blank gauge list. You can either get your coolant temperature or you can get your voltage. Oil pressure on the left side. But the idle is pretty crazy. I just want to show you guys actually the one thing mechanically that is wrong with this car actually right over here so the one thing wrong with this car is the throttle position sensor right over here it actually is broken as you can see the contacts are probably very dirty um, anyways I have a new one of those on order it was like 30 bucks off rockauto.com so but yeah other than that besides the idle issue it runs really freaking smooth um, it shifts a little bit funny I think it's because of the idle sensor but either way we'll deal with that in a little bit i don't think it's a huge issue um worst case scenario we'll do the six speed swap i hear a car coming let's put the hood down do you walk to them um i want to eventually i don't do a lot of it but yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, all right, brother. Well, you thank you. Sure? Yeah, I'm cool. good. Thank you very much. Right, you too. 
All right, that was kind of weird. He asked me if I vlog. And I, for some reason, I didn't want to say yes because I know how much YouTubers kind of get in trouble sometimes. So maybe I was up to no good. Maybe he was going to be like, oh, your tires look a little burnt out. You can't be vlogging out here. <laughs> I don't know. So apparently I'm in an Indian reservation and I can't be here because I don't have an I don't have a friend that's a member of the Indian reservation. Um, but yeah, the cop was really cool. He was just like, you know, checking out my license, checking out my uh, my plate and stuff. And he's like, yeah, everything's good. So um, yeah, I'm just making my way back into town. Um, but yeah, anyways, enough about that. Let's talk about the car. The gas mileage isn't that bad, even though it's a 5.7 liter V8. It still gets like 20 miles to the gallon. I mean, I wasn't like babying it or anything. I was just driving like normal. All right, now that we're just getting home and the trip was cut a little bit short due to law enforcement, which wasn't even that bad. Uh, I think it's kind of interesting that you can drive through Indian reservations, but you can't park there for a few minutes to take some pictures and I guess vlog. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. So the goal of the Corvette is gonna be, um, number one, make sure the intake flows as good as possible. Um, make sure the exhaust is flowing as good as possible. I don't want to make it dumb loud like the Miata, especially the V8 is going to get pretty much undrivable, I think. But we want to make sure the intake and exhaust is going and flowing as good as possible. Um, then we're going to make sure the ignition system is all good. And then it comes to the upgrades, like the turbo kit and stuff like that. The entire fuel system is going to have to be kind of upgraded. Um, a new fuel pump, pressure regulator, and injectors. Um, to make sure that the whole system is running good and then um, is the tune which I'm hoping to keep all of that under a thousand dollars all right so for the Corvette um, goals like I said before is we're gonna try to get around six to seven hundred horsepower um, if we get in the fives that's fine um, I guess ultimately you want to shoot as high as possible but um, the stock components should be good to handle at least 500 and that's the range that the new uh, C8 Corvettes are. Um, their power to weight ratio is a little bit different because they're mid-engine so um, those might still be a little bit quicker if we match the horsepower so we want to shoot a little bit higher. Um, doing that we're, gonna, we're going to first um, upgrade the ignition system make sure the ignition system is working like kind of peak um, and then we're going to make sure the intake and the exhaust is flowing perfectly. Um, I don't want to get new headers, obviously, because you're going to need a new turbo manifold. Um, but the intake is going to get ported, the head is probably going to get ported, and then we're going to make sure the exhaust after where the turbo comes in is going to be running and like breathing and exhaling as good as possible. Um, the fuel system we don't need to touch um, for maintenance, we're just going to upgrade the parts that we need to upgrade. Uh, meaning fuel pump, injectors, uh, pressure regulator if there is one that's holding us back, and then we're going to make sure... Uh, everything is working perfectly to get as much horsepower as possible. Um, I think the axles, differential, all that other stuff are going to be fine. Maybe eventually upgrade the brakes. Uh, the brakes aren't that powerful, even for the 300 horsepower that it has. But other than that, um, yeah, that's the goal for the car so far. <clears throat> but yeah, I am very happy with this purchase. Um, I want to keep the, I want to keep the momentum going with this car. Uh, I know the Miata didn't get very many upgrades over the couple months that I've had it, and I do still have it. Uh, I just want to make sure that this car, because I bought this car exactly and 100% for the channel. Sorry about the zoom. But um, I want to make this car um, kind of on the priority list. It's going to kind of bump up the Miata. It's going to bump past the Miata, and it's going to be uh, kind of in the front for the upgrades and the modifications and stuff. So. Um, any dispensable income I have is going to go towards this car. However, I want to keep it as a $2,000 build. $1,000 for the car and $2,000 for the upgrades. I want to see if I can make it faster than the $100,000 uh, C8 Corvette. I know this is kind of a weirder vlog. It's not super action-packed or anything like that. But we'll get back to those uh, starting with the ignition system on the next video. Um, actually, the parts are coming here any minute now. So. Uh, if you guys liked today's video, I can't tell you what to do, but there's a button for it. If you guys want to see more Corvette mods, etc., etc., go ahead and hit the subscribe button down there. Other than that, you guys have a great day.